Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. I'm going to be showing you how to transfer components only from either character in slot 1 or character in slot 2. I'm going to give you the rundown of what you need for this glitch, the way that it works, and then I'm going to show you how to do the glitch. So you must have a Christmas mask on either your male or your female character in slot one or in slot two that you do not have on the other character. If you've been doing the creator glitch, then you probably do have a Christmas mask on character one that you don't have already in character two because you've been deleting it. But this only works for Christmas mask that you do not have on both characters. You can do this for character in slot one or the character in slot two. You'll also only be able to transfer one component only outfit at a time using this glitch. This will not require you to delete either character and you cannot or you cannot transfer, I should say, from one character or the other. So this is not necessarily a double transfer glitch unless you do have a different Christmas mask that you don't own on both characters on either character. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to leave the text tutorial in the description with all those stipulations and things that you do need to know for this glitch. Also, I do want to note that you are not able to transfer merge components using this glitch, only regular solid components. So I'm doing this on the account that I've been using and showing you guys. You guys know that I've been deleting my second character on this to do the merge glitch or the creator transfer glitch with this. And I'm just going to make a quick outfit and show you how this works and why it works. Works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on this Krampus Christmas mask, which is one of the masks that I definitely have on this female character that I do not own or have purchased or just don't have period on the other character that I'm going to be transferring these components to. And then the outfit that I'm going to put together it's just going to be some simple stuff. I'm actually just yeah, testing some of the uh, color utility plate uh, utility vest, I guess, carrier plate utility vest that T had found. And I just wanted to check and see what those work with so I could put them on the list as a combo item. So you're going to see three outfits here that I was testing to see open jackets, sleeveless jackets, and then closed jackets. And then at the end, you'll see the result of the three outfits that I did transfer and save over using this glitch. I'll also link to her video so you can see an outfit that she put together using this. And then obviously, I do want to give a huge shout out to Unfazed because he's the reason that this glitch honestly exist and then we've also got um, a link to the actual video with what you can do with merge components and actual director mode with duping birds on there as well so I'll leave links to both of those in the description so the app that I'm putting together is just going to be the sand rolled gun running shirt it's the first rolled tee on the gun running list the burgundy cropped jeans I'm going to put on the blue sports shoes and then I'm also going to put on the black tactical gloves with this Krampus Christmas mask and again this is one I do not own on the mail or do not have on the mail and then I'm going to be switching from three different styles of tops when I'm testing I'm going to do the green open work jacket here I'm going to do the I believe the chocolate sleeveless tactical jacket whatever that is called and then I'm also going to be doing on here the black one of the black new work uh, jackets that are closed that have like the prints and the logos on them as well so I'll leave those in the description just so you can see exactly what I'm doing here with the components so once you do have this outfit you do not need to save the outfit because this glitch will only transfer one outfit at a time that one outfit is going to be your current outfit and then you'll see here when I go to the counter at the clothing store that I just am going to have this current outfit on. And then as always, whenever I'm doing any glitches, I'm testing components. So I just usually have one saved outfit on the account. And the saved outfit that I have here was the one that had the CEO armor. If you're looking for that, just check out my channel for female. So the next step is pretty easy. It's the easiest glitch we've ever had for transferring components. Uh, but of course, there are all these stipulations and things that we have to kind of do in order to get this to work but you need to go over to whatever time trial is active on the map so I know where the time trial is obviously this week but I don't have them shown on my map so if you don't have those items shown on your map I'm going to quickly show you how to show them on your map so you're just going to go to your interaction then you go to hide options and then if you scroll down to I believe other you'll see where you can actually activate and show the time trial and all these other things or hide them on the map so I had to do this just so I could show you what that looks like on the map and this will change every single week so if you're watching this video a week from now you'll probably have a different location for the time trial so I'll show you again here the time trial was located past the military base and it looks like a little clock so I'm just gonna mark away points of there and then you need to head over to the time tile 
I also set last location on this because I wanted to be near when I spawn back in as my female to do more outfits. I wanted to be near the time trial each time. And usually there's a clothing store relatively close to whatever the time trial is. The one that I, the one that this time trial is this week is pretty far away. But again, I decided as last location, it worked for me. I suggest doing that too. So when you get up to the spot where the time trial is located, you can just grab any car off the street, you can use your personal car, whatever you want, whatever is the fastest for you, and then you're just going to drive into the circle. Once you get there and you're standing still, you're just going to press right on the D-pad to enter and activate the time trial. Once you do that, it'll show you on the screen that it's now activated, and then you just need to go to your pause menu, go to online, go to swap character. This glitch is literally so easy. You guys are going to be really excited <laughs> on how at least easy the glitch is, even though there are all these stipulations and things that we have here. So when you get in here, you'll see your character in whatever slot you had that had obviously the Christmas mask on with the components. Then you'll also see your other character. So I do want to show you something kind of quickly in this video in case you have been using or you're doing this on an account where you've been deleting your second character doing a creator mode glitch. When you do this, you're going to have to basically swap over to that second character and you obviously need to change it to whatever the opposite sex is. So I'm doing this from female to male. So I'm going to be creating a male character on this. Now you don't have to create a male character each time. I just wanted to show this for people that have been deleting that second character doing another glitch. So you can just click on this if this is already a male and then load into a session and you'll have the components and you can save the outfit that's already on that male. If you are creating a brand new character like I'm doing here, something weird is going to happen and I wanted to show you in case you were doing this. So you go ahead and make sure this is the opposite sex, either male or female, from whatever your component character was. And then you will eventually load into a GTA Online session after a bit of a loading screen. And then now all you'll simply need to do is go back into your online pause menu, go to swap character, and you'll see here on the screen that the outfit or the components that you transferred over now show up on that character. So you'll see here in just a second that I have still obviously the Krampus mask on, and then I have, you know, whatever components I had on the female, and then what those equal will now show up on the male character in this swap character or character selection screen. You can then just click again back on that character that you created the outfits for, which here I'm going to click on the male, and then you'll load into a GTA Online session, and this is where you can now save this outfit. So like I told you guys, I created three outfits doing this glitch. This does not delete outfits on either character because it's only transferring the components that are on your current outfit. It's not actually transferring components that you already have saved. It doesn't transfer components that you have saved or, you know, delete it, replace whatever on either character. It's only transferring those components that you have on your current outfit. So in order to complete the glitch again and to continue going and creating more outfits to fill up the rest of those slots, you're just going to swap back over to your female character again, put new components together, make sure you have on that Christmas mask, and then complete the glitch again where you're going to the time trial and swapping characters, saving the outfit, rinse and repeat. This is an easy as F. <laughs> I don't want to say the cuss word. This is an easy glitch. This is so simple. But again, you can't do the merge components using this this way. It'll actually delete the whole outfit that you have current on the saved one. But you can still transfer component only outfits. There are tons of videos out there that just feature components only. There are 25 page component lists that you'll see linked in the description with this as well. This is so easy. So please, if you've been wanting to create outfits for your character in slot two, or if you just did not want to delete your character in slot two to make outfits for your character in slot one, you can still create a ton of really nice things with this. So I hope you guys like this video. Please drop a like, please subscribe, leave me lots of comments on this if you have any questions, but as always, check the description first before you ask questions. You'll find so much info in there for probably everything that you need, including the text tutorial. So I'll see you guys soon with more glitch videos.